YouTube, we are going back to back like I thought we were going to, which is good. Today we have a leg day. It is Tuesday. Um, so, what am I going to do for this leg day? Because, again, I'm not on program, so I can kind of do whatever I want. Um, I don't know if I'm weird, or I just like my program, or I just... I'm iffy about legs. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What is this person doing? Um, sorry, somebody stopped in the middle of my garage. Just stopped, not moving for no reason. Um, so I say, I'm like, I don't know if I'm weird because I'm pretty much just going to do what's on my program for the day, like, or what I would have done on the program for the day. But I'm not going to do SBD. Because normally I'd bench today as well. I'm just going to do legs because I don't think I need to bench today. Um, my shoulders are a little sore because I haven't done lateral raises in forever. And I bench four times a week, which isn't necessarily what I need to do. I just like doing it. And I've been doing it for a while and it hones it on my form. So I'm not going to change it. But like the week after I meet, I don't think I need to. So I'm not going to. Um, so I'm just going to do, I'm going to do squats. I think I'm probably going to do some type of a tempo and then some type of a pause or, I mean, I don't know what else to do variation wise. First of all, I'm not doing like a pain squat or any of that bullshit. Um, so I don't really know what else I would do squat wise because I'm not doing my primary squat. I have that on Friday still. So I'm going to not wear heels, which is a big deal for me. I'm also going to wear stoics, which I haven't done in a long time. I've been wearing my inserts for every session for the past month and a half, I believe. Um, so I'm going to wear stoic today. I'm going to wear flats today. And we'll see how that goes. With I mean, I'm sure whatever I'm going to do is going to be pretty light. I'm thinking maybe I just do like, like normally on my program, I'd have a, a oh, I've had before at least, um, I had a three second tempo single. And then I'd have back downs of a top set so like my first back down would be a top set of three paused and then i'd have three back downs of three paused so i might do something very similar um except i might just do like my top set of a tempo maybe i do i don't know i might actually keep it the exact same i might just do a single for my top set tempo and then maybe um, the same pauses at the back downs and then more back downs. I'll probably do five sets as well because that's been working for me. So five working sets of squat. And then I'm going to do, um, deads. I'm not going to do what I normally do. Cause I normally do like full reset deads and then and I'm not doing all that bullshit. I'm going to do pause deads, which I haven't done forever. So I'm probably going to do maybe like a one by three paused. I have no clue how heavy. And then I'll do back downs of maybe like two by three paws. And then I'll still probably do RDLs just because I've been really, really liking barbell RDLs. I think I feel them a lot and they kill my hamstrings. So I'll probably do barbell RDLs as well. And then I will, I don't know, in my program, I would have hack squats and then like calves or whatever I want to do. So and maybe instead of hack squat, I'll just do a leg extension today because it's a little more isolated for the quads. And then, it depends how gassed I am um, after doing... So, that'd be squat, deads, RDLs, leg extensions. So, that is, like, two main movements for each part of my leg. I'll definitely do some type of calf raise. Um, maybe I'll do abs. Or maybe I'll do, like, another quad thing. Or maybe, like, a hip thing. Because I've been, like, really trying to focus on posterior. But deadlifts and RDLs do focus on posterior a good little bit. So maybe I'll do a leg curl as well. I don't know. I'm just going to hammer legs. Um, I'll go as much as I can. I have nothing else to do today. I have no class. So I get to just work out, make my own workout, lift, and just get just destroy the legs. Grow some legs, destroy the legs. So we'll see. Today should be not fun for me, but it should be a good like that. Um, other than that, obviously I talked yesterday, so not much has changed, but only thing I will say is, for meat-wise, I think I've decided on a meat. Um, I think I'm going to have to do steaks in July. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I 
think I'm going to have to do states in the Orlando Expo in July because it's July 6th. So I'll tell you my like predicament that I'm in right now, which is kind of annoying me, but it's okay. I have pretty much three choices for a meet right now. I can do July 6th, which is states in Orlando's Expo, but I'll be home. So I have to come up to Orlando for that meet. And that would all I'd be coming up for. I can do August 11th in Miami in Ghost Gym, which is a cool gym. I can do that meet, which looks like it'd be really fun. And that's August 11th. I go back to school August 20th. Or I wait to see if they post something else by like the end of this November and just wait and just wait all the way to November. So the problem I have right now is I'd actually love to do the August meet. I think the August meet is perfect. It's about six and a half months away. It's going to be in Miami instead of up here. So I, it's not that big of a drive. It's like an hour for me. I can go back and forth like easy. And it gives us more time to build. Um, the only problem I have is I think I'm going away for about 10 days with my dad at the end of July. And I think I'm going with my mom at the start of August. So if I'm going on two vacations, I cannot enter an August 11th meet. It's literally going to be impossible because I'm just not going to have time to peak. I'm not going to have time to taper. I'm not going to have time to do anything properly. So I can't do that. So the only way I can do that meet is if I confirm that I'm not going away. But that's not going to happen for a long time probably. So unfortunately... I'm probably going to do the meet at the beginning of July, which is States, which gives me about five months to build. This isn't bad. It's still a long time, but I want it a long time. Five months, and it'll be in the Expo Center, which means a lot of stuff will be going on. It's going to be a good meet. It is a TSS meet, which means I know the rack, I know the bar, I know the bench, and I know I like them, which is good. Um, so it's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, I have to drive up. I have to peak and everything up here. I have to drive up like a week early and just chill for like a week. We'll see. It's a little bit more complicated than I'd like it to be, but I think at the moment that's what I'm going to go for. Um, the beginning of July in Orlando. And the only other thing I'll say right now, meat related, is not really meat related, but I think my boy who runs Single Back Market just got um, an eclipse for me. Finally, an SBD eclipse. I know it's a little late because I just competed, but I think I'm going to buy an SVD Eclipse. I'm talking to him about prices right now and all that, so I think I'm going to buy an SVD Eclipse, and I'll start wearing it in training and stuff, but that will probably be my actual single in a meet in six months because that is my favorite single of all time. Um, so I'll probably wear that for the meet as long as I get it, but we'll see. Anyway, I don't know. I'm going to talk to him about it now, so... Hopefully uh, everything works out with that and I have that single. That'd be nice. I've been waiting for that for a while, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, let's go uh, Let's go kill some likes. All right, I think we're going to fuck around and do like a 125 tempo single. It'll be a PR. So. This is the last warm up. As long as this moves really well, I'll do that. We'll see. It still feels weird just because it's flat. But we'll see how this moves. And then I'll, I'll make a decision. My reserve just isn't on. Watch it and see. PR, 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 PR. Let's go. That should be easy. Single tempo. How many reps though? Actually, there's one. Oh, let's do oh, tempo. Hi. What are you? Hi. 
Smooth, bro. Why am I here? Why am I here? Let's go! That's so easy! Three hundred. Oh, Mike got it. Mike, he's here. Oh, Mike, he's fine. Three hundred, three hundred, three hundred. Oh, yeah. 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 My back is stinging. Let's go. I'm gonna just do a chill four by two with uh, two seven drive. That was a crazy bear. It was sixteen and a half kilo bear with stoics and flats on. So absolute W. Let's just make sure my depth is chill. Mm -hmm. Do a four by two. Maybe I'm not doing what we'll do. That was hard. I'll drop it to like 115. Right, that was miserable. Um, I dropped it to 110. I'll probably just do a double and actually pause it this time. Probably only do two sets also. My shoulders, like, let me keep it chill. Do this one more set. Then let's we'll pull something light. <laughs> yeah, my shoulder hurts so bad. Like, looks like I'm just going to PR for fun because this is my last warm up and I'm going to do, I guess, a single pause. So, 
Um, I'm gonna probably jump to 150 after this. We'll see how it feels, but this has been moving, so. I don't know what to do. This is a seven and a half kilo PR. I'm just gonna do it for a single, and if it moves super super easy, I'll go up. But I don't really want to fatigue myself because Saturday I want to pull a PR. So just fuck around, fuck around and pause it. All right, we'll start there. Um, I'll do like two reds for uh, uh, four, or for two reds for three as a back down, and I'll just do RDLs. All right, we'll do a quick triple, quick triple. Um, we'll see if I do one, two, I don't know, but we'll do a quick triple here. As long as it feels good, I'll do a triple, at least. Do RDLs. I'm just gonna do a quick uh, two by six with this. So pretty light, but just want to get some type of volume in. Just keep it chill. What? An RDLs? Bro, you still? An RDLs, RDLs, RDLs. You're probably right. Just do two sets. All right, do another set of six. I don't know. Maybe call it a day, Loki. We'll see. Easy. Fuck around, dude. 
like two sets of leg press. Uh, call it a day. I need to go like 200 maybe. We'll see. I don't know if they supercharge it. I don't know. Bruh. We do 240 for for uh, eight, and then we do like leg curls and then like calves and call it a day. I do like girl. I've never done this machine in my life. I do like 50 or like 10 maybe. We'll see. So. Eight, do two sets and then probably do calves. Yeah, we're gonna do another eight, do some calves and dip. We just need to have some get out of here. And we just go until we can't move the calf anymore. Oh, I hate this machine so much. I can't rack it. Hopefully I fixed it. Yeah, it looks a little better. Alright. Oh yeah, I'm cramping. Oh, 
Oh my god. Alright, let's pose. Alright, you can pose a little bit. It needs legs, but still. All right, sit in the car. Okay, so today literally was the best session I've ever had in my life. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Um, so I'm I'm kind of joking, but I'm actually kind of not joking. Um, that was a sixteen and a half kilogram tempo squat PR. So that means it's about a forty pound PR. I did exactly three hundred today. Um. So I can tell you how that was going. So I was planning on doing a PR, a five kilo PR, which I hit, which was going to be, um, I was going to do one, Ooh, I think I was going to do 125, which would have been a five kilo all time PR on tempo. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And then everybody's like, holy shit, that was air. And I was like, uh, yeah, you're right. It's so like, fuck it, throw 300 on there. So I threw exactly 300 on there. And uh, we made it move pretty well. I think that was like an eight and a half, maybe. So squats actually looked really good, considering I was wearing... So the reason I'm saying this is crazy, first off, six and a half kilo PR is massive anyway. But the reason I'm saying it's crazy is because I was wearing Stoics instead of Inzers, which I'm going to be honest, is literally 20 pounds on my squat. Inzers helped me by so much. And I'm wearing flats, which I haven't done in over three months. And last time I did, I got absolutely folded. But I'm pretty sure less than that weight. So I'm really happy about that. Um, definitely probably going to start squatting flat with like flat shoes now because that moved really well. And I think the main reason I failed in my meet, you guys will see what I'm talking about once that video is posted, or you can go look at my Instagram because I did post it on Instagram. My Instagram's the same as my YouTube. Um, you can see what I'm saying, but I, I think I literally only failed because my heels are so steep because like my form was good and everything was good. I just can't grind because I'm so pushed forward by my heels. So without having heels on, it should be a little easier to grind and I should hopefully be stronger very fast. So I'm looking forward to that, especially because I feel like it just like looks better, which is kind of funny to me. But like putting on heels is like annoying, especially my heels. My heels are like really, really, really big heels. So it's not the best thing in the world. So we're doing flats pretty good. Um... My first back down on squats, I actually almost died. That 275 was insanely heavy. I guess all the fatigue caught up to me at once, which doesn't actually surprise me. Um, destroyed me. I did not pause it, didn't hit depth, and it almost folded me. So that was a little scary. Um, but I did, um, I then dropped it to, I think, 115 kilo, which is like 242. And those back downs are pretty good, just pause squats. I don't know if I'm hitting depth. That's the only thing I'm worried about with wearing flats, but. My coach gave me some advice for already um, that I'll do next session to see. Hopefully, it'll be better. So, flats are looking good. Um, deadlifts went really well, too. I was going to do a double pause deadlift PR. I'm happy I didn't. Um, that single was hard enough. So, I did a single PR. That was a 7.5 kilo PR um, all time on pause deads. I haven't done pause deads in over three months. So, really, really happy with that, actually. I felt like that felt really good. My pause wasn't that great, but it also wasn't that bad. So, I'll happily take that. And then the back downs were, I mean, I did the one back down that RDL was felt good. Um, did some leg press that like Christine's kind of asked, but I didn't want to load weight. So it's good enough. And then that lying leg curl is actually really good. It really destroyed my hammies. Uh, pump was not bad. I just don't really know how to pose for legs. So yeah, it was a two hour workout. Um, super solid considering I literally was just around to just mess around, do whatever I want. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the session. Um, tomorrow I have off. And then Thursday, I'm going to go to 24-hour fitness with my friend. So my session is going to be a little weird. I'll probably just do a little bit of everything, upper body. Like, I'll do some type of bench. I'll probably do, like, a tempo bench. I'll probably do tempo and pause, to be honest, because that's been prepping me pretty good for my benches. And I don't really want to change anything because I am going to go for a PR on Saturday. So probably just match that, like what I normally do, pretty light. Maybe, like, maybe just, like, a 225 tempo and just chill out a little bit. 
and then have some fun with some back and some shoulders and some arms and just chill out. Um, and then Friday we have, I'll be back here. I have primary squats, but I assume I'm going to have either fours or triples and it will probably be at RP like four or five or maybe six. So it's going to be really light. Um, we just got to hone my form down with flats and everything. And I'm starting my block for squats on this Friday. So everything will be locked in like normal. Um, and then Saturday, obviously go for my bench PR and my deadlift PR. I'm hoping, so let's, we can talk about that. I don't really know. It, it's going to be really iffy on what I pull because first off, I'm going to be fatigued from the meat. Whether it's not that much, I don't know, but I'm going to have fatigue. And I just did the pause deadlift per hour today, which is pretty heavy. So I'm going to probably have some type of built up fatigue, even though it should be prepared fatigue, but it will still be fatigue. And I pulled 402 in my meat. I'm going to say about RP eight and a half, nine. I don't know it. I feel like I could have doubled it. My deadlifts are just weird and it moved pretty fast. So assuming it's about an eight and a half and I can grind my deadlift, which I know I can, I'm probably going to pull, I'm going to say around 430, maybe 440. Um, that's like a big goal. I feel like, like, I don't actually know what I can pull, but I think I'm going to try to probably pull about mid 430s, low 440s um, on Saturday. And if it doesn't move, it doesn't move. I'm not like I'm not gonna be disappointed no matter what. No matter what, it's gonna be a PR. So no matter what I pull, we'll see. I'm gonna try to bench. I think 253 is a good number. That is two and a half kilos above what I hit. That'd be 115. Um, so that'd be red blue collar, which actually looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully I can do that for my bench. Um, it's definitely gonna be a grind, but I think I can do it. I think I can hit it. And then we just dead. Hope we can pull as much as we can. Hopefully, I can pull upper 430s, low 440s, maybe even 450. We'll see. It depends how everything moves on the day and how, how I'm feeling. But hopefully, everything feels good. I will definitely be filming that. That's probably the next time I'll see you guys. Uh, yeah, solid session. Haven't just had, like, free choice in a while. But I told you, I pretty much stick to my program. I just changed the accessories to make them easier. And I just, like, changed how hard everything was just for fun. But pretty much stuck to the program. Still the tempo squats, still the pauses, and then still the deadlifts and RDLs. I just did pause deadlifts instead of normal. And I lowered some reps and some sets, but that's about it. Solid workout. Now we got to drive home. Got to do some homework. Got class tomorrow. Got to lock in and just chill out. So hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and go watch the meat recap on my Instagram. Uh, I covered everything. I didn't post my failed squat. I will post that in the meat video, obviously, when I get all my footage, which I haven't got yet. So going to wait for all my footage, but I will see you guys in the next one.